Hi everyone. Okay. Mail person just got here. This, um, I'm really hoping is, um, what I think it is, what I think it is, what I would have been anticipating on receiving. I just got it. The mail person just walked past my door. So, I've been waiting for this. If this is what I think it is, this is going to be a very, very special review, indeed. So, let us see what it is. I hope I'm not... I'm going to be really sad if this is... If this is... Um, Not what I'm hoping it is. Okay. Let's just get through this. Now, all of you know the Seasons of the Witches. Uh, Seasons of the Witch um, Oracle decks. They have the Yule version, which I have not reviewed. They have the Samhain version, which I have reviewed. Um... And they have the Beltane version in this series, which I love. I have it. I've reviewed it. And I use it on a regular because Beltane is my favorite holiday. This is a new one. And it is not out. It is not out until June 12th. Um, I got it pre-done, pre but... This one is special because it is autographed by Lorraine um, through magic.com. Um, they had, she had brought by some pre-releases, Season of the Witch, Maybon Oracle. This is for the fall, okay? Lorraine Anderson um, and Juliet Diaz, uh, created the this series and this is the latest one it's not out until uh june 12th is the release date but what is m more special is lorraine had brought oh there's her autograph right there she had brought some early prints to magic.com and she autographed them and they did uh, a sale of them and they all sold out like almost instantly right uh, but the um, the deck will be officially on sale June 12th so this is like yay I'm so excited uh, we get to um, review something that hasn't even been officially released yet so this is again the seasons of the witch uh, Maybon Oracle. You're not going to get an autographed one if you don't already have one because, you know, she only autographed a few of them. But let me read the back of this because I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I've been really excited to get this. Celebrate the autumn equinox with the energy of Maybon and give thanks for the abundance of Mother Earth, both literally and spiritually. Maybon honors the earth and is a celebration of balance, equality, and harmony. As the wheel of the year comes full circle, Maybon is a good time to set intentions, release tension, and set new personal goals. The cards in this oracle offer intuitive messages rather than invocations. They align with your energy, helping you to unlock your inner wisdom with the assistance of powerful spiritual forces. Includes 44 cards and a guidebook. And this one has her um, autograph. I'm so stoked. Let's keep that in the vision. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Okay, here is the book. Of course, typical style of this series. Um, so excited for this. 
Uh, I do love the, uh, the Autumn Equinox of Maybon. Not as much as I love Beltane, but, you know, um, I'm a Sparatum kind of girl, I guess. I would love to, to, and I'm sure they're probably working on one for the summer solstice, um, which I think would be fabulous. But I digress. Okay, so how to use the cards. I love this. This is so neat. Um... Mon card spreads. I'm so excited for this. Fresh off the presses. Okay. And I really do love how they put together a, a deck of cards. So I'm really looking forward to this. So here is where we start. And of course, this is going to be an in-depth view so I'm going to read all of the descriptions. It's going to be, you know, get your coffee or your juice or your drink and popcorn or whatever midday snack you may or may ha may not have with uh, some tea sticks or something. Um, it's going to, this is going to be a long video. But let me get my measuring tape. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so glad that this is... The package that I have been waiting for. Okay, so um, about five inches or 12 and a half centimeters by about three and a half inches or nine centimeters. So, you know, they're the same size as all the other decks in, in the Seasons of the Witch series. Like I said, it's got this beautiful orange foil um, gilding. It's so pretty. So very fall-like, right? So very fall-like. This is the back of them. They do have that, that shimmer, what do you call it, gloss, gloss finish. Um, it's not overly glossy, though. Okay? You can see that it's glossy, but it's not like overbearing. And they feel really nice. This is a really nice, oh, this is a really nice energy. Okay, I'm going to stop molesting the cards and let's, let's take a good look at these beautiful, beautiful cards. I'm so excited. See, this is what happens. This is the first deck that I have reviewed that is in pre-release status. Um, so you get a good look, a good, fortunate, in-depth look at this deck before it's even released. And I will put a link in the description box below to uh, where I purchased this deck at. So you can go um, click on a pre-order or they might even have some um, available now just because they're magic.com and they have a relationship with. Um, Lorian Anderson, okay? So, our first uh, card is Apothecary Cabinet. Without practice, without befriending them, they are strangers in your path. Keywords, tools, a need to develop skills, and hard work. Your higher self chose this card because your journey is just beginning, even if it feels as though you have walked this road for ages. There are skills, resources, or tools you need before you can begin the work of calling in those big dreams. For example, when attempting to manifest more wealth, consider whether you need to overcome limited financial stories or destructive money habits that are sabotaging your efforts. Receiving a loving partner may be blocked to you until you do inner work on loving yourself, experiencing supportive friendship, um, I'm sorry, experiencing supportive friendships may require you to eliminate relationships that are toxic and draining. 
Taking the time to do this inner work now will save you many days, months, or even years of starting over. Your soul has selected this card to gently encourage you to be honest about where you are in your journey and what's realistically needed to begin to see results. All transformation begins with awareness and starting where you are is the first step toward a radical shift in your situation. Your life could be completely different six months from now with the right tools at your disposal and a willingness to do the work. Pulling falling leaves, card 14, in addition to a pocketary cabinet, is a clear sign that you have spiritual blocks preventing your success. You may wish to pull additional cards if you're unsure what your current blocks are. Note, scan the QR code on the back of this booklet to gain access to exclusive bonus content, <gasps> including an energy evaluation worksheet. Well, that is a wonderful bonus to have. Um, so let me see. Let's see what we have. Yep, there's a QR code in the back, but not on the back. If you, if you have a deck that has the QR code on the back of the box, or on the the well, it wouldn't be on the back of the booklet, but um, but if it's on the back of the box or whatever. That's, that's a telltale sign that you have a fake deck, right? <laughs> okay, uh, continuing on. Connecting to your tools ritual. The purpose of this ritual is to connect and set an intention, a step many people overlook even though it's vital in a spiritual practice. Everything has a spirit and thus should be respected, and a relationship should be built between you both. Do this simple but powerful ritual with tools, plants, and anything you use or work with in your spiritual practice. Sit in a quiet space with your tool or tools. Place the tool in front of you and hold your hands over it. Take three slow, deep breaths, and on the last exhale, be mindful of relaxing your body. Think about the intention you want to set and speak it out loud three times. Let the tool know how grateful you are and that you're looking forward to creating magic together. Now, I'm not going to read all of the incantation parts, but I want you to have a good understanding of what all is involved with the, each description. I don't know if all of them will have, no, not all of them, just like all the other books in this series, all the others. Um, I, there's only, there's only specific cards that have like, uh, incantations, rituals. Here's one. I won't read those, but I wanted to, to, to read that first one just so we have a good understanding that, um, of how it's formatted. But, you know, again, if you're familiar with the Seasons of the Witch series, um, the, it obviously it, it's following the same formatting, right? So here we go. Number two, apple of my eye. Keywords, mindfulness, being careful, being present, awareness. Not all that's alluring may be what it seems. See beyond the illusion. Your higher self chose this card because there is often an expectation that transformation will happen with a big bang. One day you'll wake up and be completely different from how you were yesterday or some dramatic event. Uh, will happen that causes your whole life to renew itself. Uh, 
transformation is usually sparked by a dramatic life change. But a spark only represents potential. You still have to take that spark and nourish it. It becomes a raging fire that burns through your life. Mindfulness is the best way to begin forming habits that lead to dramatic results. For example, you may need to find more awareness about poor eating or money habits. You may need to be more present in your career if you're looking to advance. Perhaps you need to be more mindful about the ways you've given away your power. Maybe you allow others to speak to you negatively or you find yourself giving a lot more than you get in return. Once you're mindful of where you need change, you won't be able to unlearn this information and each moment of awareness will become an opportunity to make a new choice. You can continue to make the same choices that have kept you where you are, or you can decide to do something different and begin to move in a new direction, taking one tiny step at a time. Isn't that gorgeous? Love these cards. Um, they're very flexible. They're, they just feel so light, but the energy in them is just, wow. Okay. I'll stop touching them for now. Okay. I found it. I was thinking, okay, well, um, magic.com, uh, includes a free crystal with every purchase. So I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> let me find my crystal. So I found it. It was in the box. How pretty is that? Beautiful. And it goes wonderfully with these cards. So I'm going to just let it hang out here with these beautiful cards. Okay, so here we are. Uh, autumn Equinox. Keywords, temperance, balance, renewal. Nothing is whole without the acceptance and acknowledgement of all. Your highest... I'm sorry, your higher self chose this card because the autumn equinox is a wonderful time to consider where you might be experiencing imbalance within your life. There are ways your uh, there are ways you're living to I'm sorry, are there ways you are living to the extreme? Are there areas in your life that have been overlooked or perhaps forgotten about entirely. Typically, things such as spa days, time off, more rest, and more time spent with friends are the first things put on the back burner, but it can just as easily be creative expression, having new experiences, cleaning your space, forgetting to pay a bill, or even being your best self at work. If you have been in a period of extreme action, now is a good time to begin entering a phase of rest, renewal, and passiveness. Attempting to force your way forward may actually be the reason why you're not receiving the results you're hoping for. Likewise, if you have felt stagnant or are falling victim to the extremes of laziness. Excuse me. Receiving this card is your sign to renew your motivation to prevent anything else from falling through the cracks. Balance is not just related to physical action. Balance of the mind is also a worthwhile cause. Consider whether you've experienced a period of pessimism and can use a more joyful outlook on life. The opposite might also be true. Are you using positive thinking and speech to bypass what you're truly feeling? Okay, I'm back. 
Alrighty, here we go. Number th four, breath work. Key words, finding space, soul nourishment, freedom. Allow your breath to expand your spirit and fill your heart. Your higher self chose this card because you're in need of more space, expansiveness, and freedom in your life. Your body contains your soul, but your spirit is bound boundless and needs ample space to express itself in every way necessary for you to feel fulfilled. When you take a breath, you're breathing the air that has at one point or another touched every surface of the earth. Every animal has felt this breath you're now taking in. Every ocean, sea, and river has held this air within its molecules and this air has fallen to the ground to nourish plants through the form of rain. You too are as limitless and expansive as the air you're breathing right now, yet you haven't given yourself the space to explore all of your desires. This card has come to you to encourage you to follow all intuitive pings that stir your soul. If you're interested in trying something new, such as a hobby or exploring a different place to live, then give yourself permission to wonder, uh, what if? What could happen if you did what made you happy versus what you're expected to do? How might you experience more passion, fulfillment, and even courage if your decisions were based on what brings you joy? Receiving this card is your invitation to ponder what could be. You don't have to act on anything that doesn't feel like the right way forward. Instead, think of this process as a trial period, a chance to try something on with the guarantee that it can be returned if it doesn't fit. For now, allow yourself to explore the possibilities and see where this leads. Beautiful. And then it has a breathwork practice that comes along with this uh, card, but I'm not gonna read it. Give you something to look forward to if you decide to purchase this for yourself. Cacao, key words, embrace, open heart, tenderness. You are loved, you are held, and you already are everything you seek. Your higher self chose this card because cacao is such a comforting drink to experience. It's like a hug from your nearest and dearest. And when this card appears, it's a message from spirit acknowledging any emotional hurt and pain you have felt. Whether you have experienced a breakup, the loss of a loved one, disappointment, or a betrayal, cacao reminds you that it is safe to open your heart again. However, do not feel rushed to welcome love from another before you have found love for yourself. What does, what does it mean to you to feel loved, supported, and emotionally nourished? How would your life look and feel if you loved and accepted yourself unconditionally? Feel your heart with the feelings these visualizations invoke and allow them to gently soften you little by little. This card is also a reminder that you are worthy of being loved. You are not broken no matter what past experiences might have led you to believe. You are a good, kind-hearted, gentle soul whose light is needed in the world. Please don't allow anyone's poor treatment to prevent you from letting others experience your light. It's beautiful. Campfire. We just had one of those the other night. Key words. Uh, telling stories. Seek advice from others. Moral of the story. 
Do not fear opening your mouth and allowing your tongue to speak. Your higher self chose this card because it may be time to seek out the help of others. You might find unexpected support, knowledge, or inspiration from someone who is more experienced and has a lot more stories to tell. Or you may find there are many people who have indeed walked in your shoes. Even the most consistently successful people have experienced failure and challenges. Being willing to listen to those who have come before you can help build your strength and give you hope that you can also overcome the obstacles you are facing. Campfire could also mean an older mentor might be available to you now or will enter your life very soon. Welcome their advice and ask as many questions as you can. They may be able to offer a great deal of assistance if you're willing to approach them with humility and listen to what they have to say. This card could also mean you may find yourself in a mentor position that someone else has sought out your knowledge and guidance. If that is the case, trust that others see in you what you see in your own heroes. Be generous with your expertise and be the kind of person who offers the same motivation you'd hope to receive for yourself. Coming of darkness, keywords, preparing, coming of darkness. All the light is dimming, life is withering at the core. Are you ready? Your higher self chose this card because a storm is about to hit and it's a warning to take steps now to prepare for darker times ahead. All cycles must come to an end. It's common to hear the phrase, and this too shall pass, in reference to difficult situations. Rarely, however, is this advice given for good times. Perhaps it's critical to enjoy periods of abundance, happiness, um, but it's also important to remember that the good cycles of life will also pass at some point. The tables will turn, and while you can't do anything to stop the natural ebb and flow, you can listen, or I'm sorry, you can lessen the blow as much as possible. When you receive this card, consider where you need to take steps to be better prepared moving forward. Is it time to open or bulk up a savings account? Do you need to do more research? Be ready with an elevator pitch or get business cards made. Perhaps you have seen some instability with your employer and it might be time to consider looking for another job. The signs are right in front of you and the first thing that gives you a feeling of uneasiness is likely when you will experience some challenges moving forward. Coin maze, keywords, compromising beliefs, falling off the path, getting lost, authenticity. Although your path is unclear, it is there waiting for your faith to lead you. Your higher self chose this card because life is not like going through a corn maze. It's a series of choices that will either lead you to freedom manifested in feelings of joy, success, feeling loved and supported, or choices that lead to feeling stuck, stagnant, confused, and lost. The next choice is always a flip of the coin and will bring you closer to your closer to or further away from your desired outcome. Just like a corn maze, you don't get a map or chance to plot the way. B 
before going in, but you do have a built-in guide in the form of your inner self, which knows exactly the way to go, when to turn, uh, when to turn and when to head back and start again. Your inner self speaks to you through your beliefs and feelings and is speaking to you now through this card, letting you know you have been going in the wrong direction. If you're inquiring about a future decision, receiving this card is a definitive no. This is not the path to take. Instead, you are being asked to go back and start from the beginning. What are your values and core beliefs? What are you hoping to gain from this situation? Or who are you attempting to become? Have your choices supported future versions of yourself and your life? Finally, where have you compromised your life's vision in pursuit of goals and expectations that belong to someone else? Corn Maze offers a final message. There is more than one way to achieve a goal. The path you are on now is not the way and there may be another path that is much better suited to you. To find this path, take time and find out who you truly are now and who you're becoming. Then your inner self will have what it needs to take you from point A to point B. Note, scan this QR code in the back of this book to receive bonus content, including a Who Are You Becoming worksheet. I'm going to do that um, when I'm done reviewing this. I'm going to go to my computer and scan that QR code. Get my bonus materials. Okay, Coven. Keywords. Family, community, raised power. I am you and you are me. When we come together, we are all we seek. Your higher self chose this card because it's a positive one for achieving goals that involve many people. One person is powerful on their own, but may lack certain skills or knowledge that another can easily fulfill. Consider seeking a partner or partners to aid in your quest if you have not already. The collective power of your partnership or team will catapult and hasten your success. Also, if you've been struggling to do tasks, tasks that do not come naturally to you, you may consider seeking help from someone who has expertise in this area. It could be time to expand your business uh, family by hiring a new employee or giving an existing one additional duties that are suited to their talents. In a reading about love, the Coven card can mean sharing activities with your family and learning from each other in the process. You may ask your kids or partner to show you more about some of their interests as taking an active role in the interests of those you love will contribute to more connection, understanding and support and represents a different way to show that you care. Cranberries, keywords, ancestral roots, connections, power, claiming, or reclaiming. Devour the truth and let it sink into the depths of all that came before and all that will come after. Okay. Your higher self chose this card because your ancestors are waiting for you. The red color of cranberries instantly brings to mind the blood connection of ancestral healing, and it is through your ancestors that intuitive wisdom is passed down. 
They wait patiently for you to connect with them so they can offer the wisdom, strength, and power that is available to you by right via the blood within your veins. You don't need a connection with your living relatives to establish a bond with your ancestors. They are available to you even if you don't know their names, faces, or the details of your family tree. You will recognize them through a feeling of comfort and familiarity. Offer up your troubles and ask for your ancestors' support. They will clear away blocks, push away the dark clouds looming over your life, and open the floodgates of abundance. To establish this bond with your ancestors, simply close your eyes and offer up your prayers. Ask that only benevolent, loving ancestors seek you out, then speak with them as you would any other guide, the universe, God, or godlike figure. Crow. Key words, something's coming, messages, and pay attention. Pay close attention to the winds. There's a message making its way. Your higher self chose this card because a message is coming your way and is warning you to keep an eye out for important signs and clues of what's to come. Nothing truly manifests without some warning. The signs might be subtle, but they have been prompting you your entire life. You might feel a sensation such as a tingle in your neck, or perhaps a decision uh, gives you a sense of dread. You might have an idea that instantly lifts your spirits or feel some electricity when you meet someone new. Um, let's see. All of these uh, sensations are clues that attempt to steer you towards a rewarding life. Pulling the crow card is a sign to trust in your intuition, especially in the coming days. You may be quick to dismiss your feelings as being silly, and perhaps they are in many societies. However, you're connected to the spirit realm where all things are possible and the only right answer is the one that gives you a feeling of peace, joy, and success. Trust in your ability to read the messages of the universe and know there is always a pathway to safety for those who know where to look. Whether the message is coming your way at it whether the message coming your way is good or bad remains to be seen. Look to other cards within your reading to select additional cards or select additional cards for more details. Darkness falls. Key words, facing your demons, acknowledging faults, self-compassion. Within you live the hidden the things that want nothing more than to swallow you whole. Your higher self chose this card because you have faults and have made mistakes. It's true that some mistakes are more costly than others, but no one lives a perfect life by any means. When you've made a misstep or when your faults put you in a sticky situation, defense mode can feel like a natural response. The wound from feeling less than has likely already triggered self-criticism, doubt, and even anger. And then to also bear the weight of someone else's disappointment, pain, anger, or criticism can feel like too much to carry. Before you know it, darkness has fallen and you're operating from a shadowy place rather than standing in your light and giving yourself some grace. You have pulled darkness falls because you're experiencing your situation from a dark place 
and reacting defensively. Every story has two sides, and it may be time to consider whether or not you also share some blame in your current circumstances. This card does not guide you to view yourself in a negative light, but to act as a neutral bystander who is merely curious and observant. How might you advise a friend who is experiencing similar circumstances? Would you guide them to calm down and take deep breaths, explain to them how they might be wrong in this situation, or even say sorry? You might find clarity and the answers needed for a positive resolution once you observe your circumstances from the outside rather than deep inside your shadow. Perhaps you will discover you were right all along, or maybe you'll be forced to acknowledge your own faults. As C.S. Lewis said, you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. Beautiful. Elderberries. Beautiful. Key words, wisdom, crone energy, learning from experience. There it is, a knowing within bone. Allow it to guide you. Yeah, you know, you know it in your bones. Okay. Your higher self chose this card to remind you there's value in seeking out guidance from someone who has been there before. However, there is tremendous value in learning by doing. You can research, ask questions, or watch others who are masters of their craft. But at some point, you have to get in there and practice if you are, I'm sorry, and practice if your aim is to develop your skills. You have pulled the elderberries card to gently nudge you out of the planning phase and into the doing phase. You may get it wrong at first or feel awkward, which is okay because the only way to improve is to focus and learn from your mistakes. Each misstep tells you what to avoid and every success confirms all you have learned. Elderberries also reminds you to stop seeking validation from others. If there isn't an example of what you want to do, when, then you'll be the first. And with time, your wisdom will guide others. If you're attempting to do something that many others are doing, trust that there is room for everyone to bring a unique perspective. You do not have to pattern yourself after other people to be successful. Very true. Falling leaves, key words, shedding, making space, clearing blocks. Let go of the things that weigh heavily on you. You deserve to take up space. Your higher self chose this card because you're in a radical period of release that feels more like an unraveling. It's likely you're experiencing many endings in the form of lost friendships, breakups, moves, and other challenging changes that may have you wondering, why is all this happening to me? First and foremost, know that you are not being punished or frowned upon. All of those changes were necessary for your future growth and expansion. And while unpleasant, you know the things that are leaving you now are only blocking your success before or were only blocking your success before. The loss of a job may inspire you to finally start your own business or a health scare might be a wake-up call that prompts you to take your well-being more seriously. By the time this period is over, 
you will feel lighter, freer, and much renewed. Do your best to find the light in every ending you're facing now. This is an excellent time to undergo personal lifestyle changes, such as a makeover, adopting a weight loss program, enrolling in a dating app, or hiring a financial advisor. What's more important is making future decisions from an authentic place. It's time to get some clarity about the kind of life you'd like to have and what you need to manifest it, especially if you have also pulled a pocket theory cabinet, card number one. And then they have a falling leaves release spell, which I'm not going to read, but it's always nice to know which ones have uh, the bonus content in it and the descriptions, right? Uh, fun, keywords, innocence, learning, educating yourself, leaping into adventure. Be curious, dear child, and explore the world within worlds. Your higher self chose this card because Fawn is a gentle animal energy to work with, but its soft nature does not take away from its powerful wisdom. This woodland creature invites you to explore your inner innocence and see yourself as a blank canvas in which anything is possible. A new adventure is waiting, and all that's required of you is a little effort and practice. Soon, a hesitant step on weak legs will turn into a giant leap of strength and graceful power. The Fawn card guides you to explore new ways to express yourself. You may consider taking a course, learning a new hobby, going on a physical adventure like backpacking through Europe, or even trying something new in your hometown. No experience will be wasted as each new adventure will provide more self-awareness and sharpen your knowledge. If your likes and dislikes and the things that make you feel alive. Deer are always ready to take a leap to get out of danger or pounce on an unexpected opportunity. Remain vigilant and do not second guess yourself when the moment arrives to jump. Fire Cider Keywords, preparation, building immunity, strengthening the spirit. Dwell in the medicine that exists to protect the spirit. Your higher self chose this card because Fire Cider wishes to tell you something that may be difficult to understand, which is that manifestation is not magic. What manifestation does, it makes, is makes space what manifest blah, blah, blah. what manifestation does is make spaces for your preparation to be useful the universe expands your possibilities moves things around so you're in the right place at the right time and offers a helpline when you're facing obstacles even so you wouldn't go to a job interview without being prepared to explain why you, why you are the right person for the job or go to the store without money to. This card reminds you not to go to spirit asking for miracles to be made on your behalf if you aren't ready to make a phone call, save a little extra, or at least make a plan. In truth, manifestation can feel like magic, but so few of us are armed with the tools needed to manifest anything meaningful. There are too many fears most of us don't know how to face, too many thought dis distort dissertations, distortions, thought distortions, many of us aren't even aware of, are aware of 
let alone able to bust and too much that is overwhelming about big life goals that can seem impossible to achieve. This is why the universe will send you challenges that are meant to build your spiritual immunity. They make you stronger, wiser, and more prepared to manifest in a way that truly does feel like magic. With time and your willingness to prepare for greatness, you will experience a life that is deliberate rather than happening by the whims of a cosmic energy. That's not to say the universe isn't real or that you won't have divine help along the way, but it's a lot easier for the universe to back you up when it knows you're prepared to take the leap when it calls. Oh, and they have a fire sire, fire, fire cider for the soul uh, recipe. Mm. I will have to make that. Let me know in the comment section below if you would like me to do a video um, making any of these recipes. Any the, of the magical recipes that I find in any of the guidebooks that I have. Um, uh, that I have. <laughs> um, foraging. Key words. Authenticity. Hidden talents. Acting upon your unquine, un, or unquine, uniqueness uh, effort. There is no better feeling than having gone after what you desire. Your higher self chose this card because sometimes you need to go out looking for food even though the grocery store is just down the road. Although the store is convenient, your life dish may require an ingredient the store can't offer. Or perhaps your soul is seeking a more authentic, authentic flavor experience that is unique to you. The foraging card is found has found you because it's time to get up, go out into the world, and discover all that is waiting for you to pick up and put inside your basket. It's tempting to take the easier road, but that path is crowded with hordes of people attempting to do the same thing. They look the same, do the same things, and are ultimately lost in a sea of conformity, and ordin ordinariness. Ordinariness. Nothing that stands out from the crowd. By taking the road less travel, you could stumble upon an undiscovered patch of greatness. What makes you unconventional, strange, or completely different? You may not you may not think being eccentric is a strength, but your quirks are what set you apart from everyone else. Receiving this card is an opportunity to discover and embrace your hidden talents and act on them. Perhaps you feel like you have nothing special to offer, but you most certainly do. Truffles are one of the world's most coveted and expensive foods yet they are notoriously difficult to find. They are always at the base of a tree and generally buried below the soil, hidden from the naked eye. What makes you unique is just the same, and you may need to dig deep deeper. It may require significant effort, but what you'll discover will be worth its weight in gold. Ghost Whisperer. Keywords, messages, warnings, guidance. Be still in the whispers that ebb and flow through the silence. Your higher self chose this card because it represents the receipt of messages, especially those that come from someone in your past. You may have a chance to find closure 
or you might reconnect with someone who was once meaningful to you. Have you been thinking about someone in particular? Perhaps an ex or an old flame has entered your mind recently. So consider reaching out to them. They may need to speak with you about something important, but don't have a way of contacting you. A simple conversation, even just a small talk, can open your eyes to a clever solution to a problem that has plagued you. This person may become a permanent fixture in your life when pulled with witches gathering. Uh, card number 42. Should this card fall from the deck in reverse, it's a critical warning. Someone from your past means you harm. They may be spreading malicious gossip or throwing you under the bus or are simply looking for ways to keep you down. Their behavior may be uncomfortable for you, but know that this is more about them and their hurt. They are the ghosts who are trapped in their own version of limbo, not you. Wish them well and defend yourself when necessary, but do not let them succeed in bringing you down to their level. If pulled with crow, uh, crow card number 11, a more offensive approach is needed. So be prepared to fight for what's yours. Grieving, keywords, grief, mourning, deep sorrow, heartbreak. The chambers of your mourning are surrounded by nothingness, emptiness, waiting to be seen. Your higher self chose this card because grief isn't just about the death of a loved one. Mourning is defined as feeling regret or sadness about the loss or disappearance of something. You can grieve the end of a career, a move from one place to another, letting go of a dream or seeing your children leave the nest. While grief isn't pleasant, it's important to acknowledge the loss of something or someone that was important to you. Doing so doesn't reduce the love that you had for what you've lost but it does give you a way to let go and move on. To ignore your sadness is to deny a meaningful part of your life story. Pooling grieving is an opportunity to embrace the heavy emotions you have been carrying. Express the fullness of your heartache as tribute to what once was. And then once you have cried, screamed, gotten angry or sad, your spirit will be free. It's only when you deny your grief that it becomes baggage. Will you feel sad from time to time? Of course. Memories have a way of creeping in even with a healthy grief process, but it won't be a constant thorn in your soul. This card also reminds you that it's okay to feel sorrow for something or someone who is gone even if that person or thing brought you great harm. The bad memories don't erase the good ones, and there's nothing wrong with cherishing any happiness you once experienced together. It doesn't matter if other people don't understand your grief, because it isn't theirs to understand in the first place. True, very true. Harvest Moon. Key words, realigning with the soul. Time for a slower pace. Self-care. Slow your heart and move gently into the coming of self. Your higher self chose this card because fall is a natural time for adopting a slower pace. The harvest moon is generally the full moon that occurs closest to the autumn equinox and is associated with balance, realignment, and reflection. At that time, 
the air gets a familiar crispness. The days are noticeably sh shorter and animals begin to find warmer places to shelter and no one could blame you for seeking out comfort foods and warm drinks. Slowing down naturally leads to a desire for more self-support, making the harvest moon one of the best moon energies for focusing on spiritual nourishment and well-being. Your soul is guiding you through this card to shine a light on your self-care needs. Uh, prioritizing rest and relaxation is a worthy cause, but making space for all forms of self-care is necessary for feeling supported and fulfilled. Today, you may need to give yourself some grace when a deadline has come and gone and you're still no closer to achieving what you wanted. Tomorrow, you might need that one friend who always makes you laugh even when it seems as though the world is shifting beneath your feet. The day after, you may need to dance naked and sing in the bathroom using your hairbrush as a microphone. Reflect upon the ways you have neglected yourself, doing so with self-compassion and self-love. There's no need to slap yourself on the wrist for forgetting to drink enough water or those times you canceled on your friends at the last minute as long as you make a commitment to doing your best moving forward. Every moment of awareness is an opportunity to make a new choice, and every new choice is a deposit on your well-being bank account. Note, scan the QR at the back of the book for bonus material, including the Pillars of Self-Care Worksheet. I am really looking forward to doing that. Oh, and it has bonus content, Turn Inward Herb Bundle. To make a Turn Inward Herb Bundle. And, and it has uh, ingredients and instructions. Lovely. Turn Inward Herb Bundle. Okay, Harvest Witch. Rewards for effort, maturity, and satisfaction. What sacrifices have you made for the greater vision of what is to be? Your higher self chose this card because there's no guarantee a crop will yield results or that the results will be worth the effort. Sometimes things don't work out despite your blood, sweat, and tears. And there comes a time when you have to be honest about how much longer you can invest in a dying crop you may need to consider whether or not you have actually given all you have to give. Perhaps you've taken shortcuts here and there, used cheap materials to save money, <clears throat> or given a half-hearted effort. This card represents the moment when you weigh your efforts versus your rewards. Harvest Witch is here to evaluate your progress. She asks, you whether you're doing enough to bring your goals to life or are you playing it safe and small and approaching your dreams with a naive perspective she reminds you that you get out that you get out what you're willing to put in if you've been cutting corners or procrastinating harvest moon which advises you to take a more grounded and practical approach. How can you be better prepared to handle your circumstances? Are you truly invested in seeing your goals come to life? Or is this something that would be nice to have, but nothing you're passionate about? If you've been putting in a great deal of effort with very little results, Perhaps it's time to shift your tactics and try something different. You may need to find a fresh way to go about achieving your goals, 
or it may be time to cut your losses altogether and find a new dream to explore. When a crop is diseased or tainted, it may be in your long-term interest to destroy what's dying so that the rest can have a fighting chance. There will even be moments when the entire crop needs to be destroyed and you'll have to start again. Be honest with yourself, listen to your heart, and move forward with the choice that will support you best in the future. I'm going to start reading the next one. My bad. Haunted house. Keywords. Unsettled issues. A need to let go or clean house. The things that haunt you are the things you have yet to let go of. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Your higher self chose this card because a person or situation from your past is preventing you from experiencing the bliss that is waiting for you once you clear this energy from your orbit or orbit orbit orbit. You might see the energy of this card manifest in an ex who continues to come back into your life whenever it's convenient for them to do so. Perhaps you are loyal to a friend who is not loyal to you in return. And despite how many times you have been burned, you continue to support them when they call. You might be saying with an, staying with an employer who doesn't value you and your ideas. So you feel as though your talent is being overlooked and wasted. Choosing to let go of what brings you pain is a critical form of self-care. Haunted House prompts you to examine the people and areas of your life that make you feel trapped, afraid, abandoned, hurt, and confused. These situations may trigger something within you, and when you are blended with these emotional bombs, you may be blinded to the exit. The door might might have been right in front of you the entire time, but you're experiencing an illusion that has led you to believe there's no escape. It may be you have taken on the role of healer and believe it's your job to change the actions of others. It is not. Your responsibility is to your own healing and well-being. Even though it may be painful, taking steps to set boundaries with others provides a healing pathway for them as well. By letting go, you are choosing not to enable their behaviors and are shining a light on their shadows. You very well could be the healer after all simply by taking steps to heal yourself here we go this excellent card kitchen witchery keywords abundance manifesting many path or opportunities abundance flows easily and effortlessly effortlessly into your life be in gratitude. Love it. Your higher self chose this card because you're entering a joyful period of abundance and manifestation. Enjoy it. When kitchen witchery visits you, you can rejoice knowing that the hardships of late have come to an end. You might feel lighter. Spiritual guidance is easier to understand and solutions to problems flow freely. Take advantage of this time and get clear about your desires as what you ask for now is very likely to manifest with ease. This card will also appear when many opportunities are available to you, so it is favorable omen for job seekers 
or when seeking support, such as from a loan, investor, or donations. In a reading about your career, this card can confirm that now is a good time to move forward with any stalled plans or begin working on a new project. If you have thought about asking for a raise or a promotion, receiving this card is your push to go ahead and ask for what you desire. In a reading about love, this card is a positive sign for marriage or the start of a new family, especially blended families where many uh, moving parts are coming together to form a whole. Of course, for singles, this card means not only love, but many options to choose from. You might find you are attracting more people than usual. And the bonus information on this card is uh, In Gratitude Spiced Apple Simmer Pots. That sounds delicious. Beautiful. Okay. So I had to read it real quick. Okay. Maple tree. Keywords. Good fortune. Signs of welcome. Change. Dramatic changes. Similar to the wheel of fortune in tarot. There is a change coming that is so big it will shift all that exists. <gasps> big. Big card. Your higher self chose this card because it is a gloriously happy one that brings with it much improved circumstances and bliss. When you receive Maple Tree, you can expect dramatic change, good fortune, and a positive resolution to your situation. It may feel like the universe is shining down on you and offering an unusual amount of good luck and well wishes. Take advantage of this happy energy while you can. Now is a good time to focus on taking action and manifesting dreams. If you have felt stagnant, receiving this card is a sign that your situation will begin to move forward and will resolve in your favor. Be on the lookout for different or increased opportunities. A financial windfall, uh, meeting someone new who has great potential to be uh, more, a sudden revival of a relationship or career, or a greater sense of confidence, strength, and creative expression. This card also serves as a yes and is your confirmation that the path you have inquired about is the right one to take. Be sure to be generous with what you have. There's no need to give away your life savings or renounce material possessions in the pursuit of charity unless that is what you feel called to do. But sharing your good favor helps to extend the happy period. The more light you send into the world, the more you can expect in return. Mead and wine. Keywords. Debauchery. Indulgence. Pleasure. Satisfaction. Living in the moment. Your presence embodied, tasting the pleasure flowing through your being. I'm going to enjoy a sip of coffee. Okay. Your higher self chose this card because you are urgently in need of more play, fun, debauchery, and throwing caution to the wind. Of course, bills need to be paid and you have to put food on the table, but playtime is a basic human need and it contributes to your health 
and happiness. This need is so often overlooked when you're barely making it through the day and wake up to each new day filled with worry about your jam-packed schedule. You may not even be aware of the breath you've been holding in you've been holding in or the stress you're carrying until you get out and do something fun. Living in the moment can come in many forms, from the most expensive adventure to a good time on a dime. A spontaneous living room picnic or a Sunday drive with your partner can turn into a night of renewed passion. A trip to the beach with your kids or besties and an iPhone can lead the way to beautiful memories you can all reminisce about for years to come. Even a couple of drinks every few months at a shitty bar with your co-workers can help to release the stress of a challenging boss or demanding clients. It's the quality and company that make the experience rewarding no matter what the experience costs or whether it's done infrequently, just as long as you make some time to get out of the everyday hustle and bustle of life. Molasses. Well, now I want some molasses cookies. Uh, Grandma used to make the best molasses cookies. Okay, keywords, stagnation, laziness, lacking motivation. To move forward, you must know where you are headed. Your higher self chose this card because molasses represents a period of uncertainty when the path ahead isn't clear and despite your best efforts, you simply cannot seem to move forward. Standing still is very frustrating, but you're in this period of pause so that you can take some time to get a full understanding of where you actually want to go. This card will often visit you after a period of significant but unintentional action. You may have made many choices in haste of late and are coming to regret some of your decisions. Perhaps you said yes too quickly and now wish to back out, or a situation seemed like a worthy gamble, but is now turning out to be a nightmare. It may not seem like it now, but this period of indecision is helping you to slow down, gain perspective, be patient, and wait for the right opportunity to find you. In the meantime, Focus on diving deeper into your spirit. Are there mundane tasks you could focus on while you aren't distracted by other things? Perhaps you might consider a practice such as meditation to take your mind off your current problems. You will find that the stickiness goes away when the time is right for things to move forward again. This card also advises you not to make any hasty decisions right now. Take care of what you need to, of course, but delay any life decisions until more information comes to hand. Mountain Cabin. Disconnecting solitude hermiting. There are times when solitude can be healing and enlightening. Your higher self chose this card because there are too many things influencing your life and some time to yourself to listen to your inner spirit is exactly what you need. Most friends and family have the best intentions when offering their advice, but they can only speak from their experiences and do not have a full understanding of your life story. Even those closest to you, such as a sibling, parent, or best friend, won't know everything about you. 
why you've made certain choices or the goals you daydream about. Your soul is guiding you through this card to disconnect from the world so you can find the best pathway forward without the pollution of other people's opinions. This, or I'm sorry, it's much easier to find confidence in yourself without the questions, doubt, concerns, or criticism you're likely facing from those in your life. Taking a solo vacation is excellent if that is possible, if that is accept uh, available to you. But finding a quiet corner to yourself, journaling, or simply keeping your plans under wraps are excellent ways to experience solitude. The Mountain Cabin card also reminds you that you are worthy and enough all by yourself. It may feel easier, safer, and more comfortable to make um, to take a new journey with a partner, but some experiences only have room for a solo traveler. If you're about to embark on a new change, know that you were given this path for a reason. It's your path to walk alone and you are more than capable of seeing it through. Okay, peppers. Keywords. Breakthrough, protection, respect, allies. Be fierce about the ways in which you protect yourself. Allies await. Your higher self chose this card because not everyone can handle the sting of hot peppers and will go out of their way to avoid them at all costs. The heat is too overwhelming and feels like too much of an effort in pursuit of a great meal. In a strange way, boundaries are a lot like peppers. Some people will try to step on to step on you and take advantage of you and are only willing to be in your personal orbit orbit as long as you agree with them. True. However, the moment you begin to demand respect, you might find that many people simply cannot handle it when you serve them a little heat. The Peppers card is here to confirm that anyone or anything you lose by establishing boundaries will be replaced with people who can stand your heat. You will go on to find people who understand your need for respect and won't try to take advantage of you, and will listen in earnest without dismissing your opinions because they don't align with theirs. Establishing boundaries also helps build confidence, and the more you practice saying no, the more you take back your power from those uh, to steal your stamp it, to steal or stamp it out. Some believe when eating very hot peppers, it's better to keep going than to stop because stopping makes the heat more intense, whereas continuing allows you to slowly desensitize. Habits are no different. They are difficult at first, but with time you'll begin to expect respect and will make no time for those who don't offer it. And there's a pepper protection spell um, as a bonus on this card. <gasps> Pomegranate, my favorite, favorite. Keywords, lust, pleasure, seduction, forbidden fruit, sexuality. Dare to taste the unknown. Let it seduce your spirit awake. Your higher self chose this card because you are ignoring the things 
that could show you the path to your purpose, to more rewarding relationships, and to unrealized talents or new ways to experience fun. There is some debate about the fruit eaten by Eve in the garden. Some believe it was an apple, while others believe it was a pomegranate. I personally believe it was a pomegranate, not an apple, but to each their own, right? This super fruits connection to the story is what invokes its alignment with temptation. And sadly, the story of Eve leads many to believe their desires should be denied instead of embraced. Each desire is a clue about what will bring you fulfillment, joy, love, success, and all other high vibrational emotions that are yours to claim. By denying your desires, you are denying what makes you, you. Pomegranate encourages you to allow yourself to experience everything that is within your heart. Try new foods, take an unusual path to a familiar place, travel, speak to someone unusual, and do the things that scare but also excite you. In doing so, you will discover the freedom to experience your full self without limitations or boundaries. So awesome. Let's just take a moment to really enjoy this card <laughs> while I take a drink of my coffee. Ah, beautiful pomegranate. Love it. It's my favorite fruit. Pumpkin spice and apple cider, key words, nostalgia, joy, belonging, inner child. <clears throat> Nothing is more nostalgic than the joy of belonging in your presence. You have chose, oh, I'm sorry, your higher self chose this card because there are hints from your past that hold the, the answer to your future. This card presents itself to you when you are feeling confused or questioning your strengths, talents, and perhaps even your life purpose. It might seem as though you have no idea what you should be doing with your life. You may have had a spark of inspiration here or there, but what feels like an aha moment, one second, turns to crippling doubt and fear just as quickly as the thought arrived. Pumpkin spice and apple cider guides you to return to the past when you're searching for clues to your next steps. What did you enjoy doing as a child? What is your answer or answers when asked? Who do you want to be when you grow up? Did you see yourself as an artist? Perhaps it's time to explore different forms of creative expression. Did you see yourself as a farmer? Why not cultivate a small garden? You never know where small steps might lead. A small garden may one day turn into a sprawling farm. Children know the value of incredible dreams, and so did you when you were a child. Don't discount any childhood fantasy, no matter how silly it may seem. One breadcrumb will lead to another, and what was a desire to be an astronaut might simply mean a love of the stars. Astrology could fulfill that same love. Allow yourself to imagine anything is possible, because when you do when you do, you give your soul space to uncover the possibilities you didn't even know were there. That reminds me of that one song. Uh, it's called Daydream, uh, where she sings, Don't Quit Your Daydream. Right? Queen of the Dead. Key words. Embracing your dark side. 
naughtiness, using darkness for good. Fear not the rage of fire living within, for it is the power of your fierceness waiting to taste you fully. Mm. Your higher self chose this card because you need to learn to be <clears throat> unafraid of your soul's darker, naughtier side. There is a deep power within you that you may feel would be scary or too much to handle if you unleashed it. Perhaps you fear what you might become if you were seduced by the shadowy aspect of your spirit. Would you become too ambitious and power hungry or sacrifice your beliefs in pursuit of fame and fortune? Would you hurt people or forget your roots? Would you succumb to anger and find yourself difficult to get along with? These are all noteworthy fears, but they shouldn't prevent you from integrating both sides of your spiritual being. Queen of the Dead is tempting you to explore and use darkness for good. Rage, ambition, jealousy, and manipulation can be channeled for a good cause. Rather than viewing them as being bad, see them as opportunities for evolution and growth. These energies to be, to be useful and your willingness to work with rather than against your demons is key for showing them the way to the light. Gorgeous. Love it. Queen of the Dead. Reaper. Key words, endings, sudden change, unhealthy attachments. For the birth of something new to manifest, the death of something holding you back is inevitable. Your higher self chose this card because sometimes life is cool and doesn't give you time to prepare for the end of something meaningful. Even if you saw the signs and knew it was coming, it can still feel like an unexpected shock when you reach the end of a road. Perhaps your desire to hold on too tightly to what was leaving you anyway is why Reaper has made its way to you. It's doing the heavy lifting because the universe knows this wasn't a choice you might have made for yourself. You could still be stuck in a situation that brings you harm had Reaper not stepped in on your behalf. It may not seem like it, but this card appearing in your spread represents the beginning of a much better life. You might pray for something, set your intentions, and do your spells hoping a magnificent dream will drop into your lap, but big dreams require big changes. You must become the person you who can achieve the goals you want. The kind of growth, I'm sorry, this kind of growth will require you to rid your life of anything that has held you back. And while the circumstances may be unpleasant, the results will bring you one step closer to the goals that are patiently waiting for you to evolve so you have everything you need to ensure success. If you find yourself facing the end of a relationship or situation, know that this is an unhealthy attachment that does not support the person you are becoming. If you have received this card about the future or an outcome, it's confirmation that your time in this situation is coming to an end. If you have pulled this card along with Haunted House, which is card number 22, choosing to stay in your situation will bring you much grief and despair. Mm -hmm. Root vegetables. Keywords, digging for nourishment or gold, considering other resources going where others might avoid. In those hidden places where most fear to go is where the most nourishment is waiting for you to behold. Your higher self chose this card because you need guidance on how to dig deeper 
for the resources and nourishment you need for your situation. Some of the world's most precious and desired resources, such as diamonds, gold, truffles, and argar wood, a very rare and exp expensive fragrance made from a particular molded wood, will are found in dirty, muddy places, and some of the most nourishing foods are found growing below ground. Root vegetables, such as carrots, beets, and garlic, are powerful superfoods that are known for their healing and restorative properties. Consider whether or not you have a complete understanding of your desires. You may need to consider enrolling in a class to learn more information, or perhaps if you have also pulled campfire, which is card number six, you might seek out a mentor who can offer additional guidance in a relationship. You could ask more questions rather than assuming you know someone's intention. Do your research and review the fine print carefully when signing any contracts or before taking advantage of an opportunity, you might be surprised to find there are better options available. If you're feeling stuck, it may be time to think outside the box and look beyond what is immediately in front of you. What may seem like a dirty or even unsavory person or place could be just what you need. Scarecrow, keywords, guardian, you have help, support. Remember that you are not alone. Move with confidence as you are guided. Your higher self chose this card because you need to be reminded that you are being looked after, taken care of, and protected. You may feel as though there are many dangers lurking about, and while they may be near, they will have little impact on your life as a whole. You can move forward with your plans, knowing a favorable outcome is in your near future. You may feel the presence of your spiritual guardians uh, through a sudden feeling of warmth spreading through your body a tingling on the back of your neck, or a sense of peace, as though suddenly all your troubles have been washed away. These and similar sensations are your guides sending you support and confirmation that you have cosmic help working on your behalf. Trust in the cosmic forces and know that the timing may not be what you're expecting, but it will always be right on time. Scarecrow may also present itself to you when you have been facing a particularly difficult situation that seems too great to face on your own. Receiving this card is your confirmation that physical help is on the way and you won't have to struggle for much longer. You may receive an unexpected windfall, a call from someone offering support, a chance encounter, or a life-changing opportunity. And they have a scarecrow affirmation. I'm not going to read it, but that's the bonus content for this card. Shape-shifting. <clears throat> Keywords. Adaptability. Transformation. Evolution. Transformation is not the loss of what once was. It is the evolution of a more powerful self. Your higher self chose this card because you are evolving, my dear. And this card is confirmation that all of your hard work and challenges are worth it. You are beginning to see what all of your recent hardships have been for and how they have shaped you into the person you are now becoming. It's never easy to experience loss or setbacks, but at least you can take comfort in knowing they were preparation 
for your developing greatness. Your recent circumstances have made you more wise and practical and better prepared and able to manage tough situations. Your level of what's possible and what you're capable of dealing with should be expanded now and <clears throat> excuse me, you can enjoy the additional layers of complexity, which only give you more interest and experience. Hold your head high and step fully into this new expanded reality. Rather than it complaining about what you've lost, shift your focus on celebrating what you have gained. Pat yourself for making it through, then begin to imagine what you can do now that you have less baggage weighing you down. St. John's Wort and Marigold. <clears throat> Key words, protection against dark forces, repels negative or unwanted energies. Against your will, there will not be. No entrance, no welcoming, be gone. Your higher self chose this card because there are some negative energies swirling around you that are affecting your spiritual well-being. You may see this energy manifest in mood swings, nightmares, general low energy, or an unexplained feeling of heaviness. Know that these feelings are not a result of anything you have done, but that they will continue to disrupt your life if you don't take steps to remove the energy that is causing you harm. Take a few moments to think about when you feel this energy the most. Does it tend to happen just after visiting a particular person or location? Do you feel this way at work or at home? Most people are not aware of how much energy they steal or the ways in which their low vibration affects others. It's important to hold space for the people you love and care about by listening and supporting them through tough times. But when a relationship becomes toxic, you may need to take extra steps to protect your energy. If St. John's Wort and Marigold should fall out of the deck reversed, it's a sign that someone is, un or is intentionally causing you harm. Someone may be spreading venomous gossip, sabotaging your work, or going out of their way to make you feel small and unworthy. Know that this is their low vibrations and has nothing to do with you. Low vibrations are just that, beneath you. Pay them no mind, but take steps to defend yourself if it comes to a point where they are gaining traction with their maliciousness. Uh, straw bail, straw bail, straw, straw bail. Almost said star. Straw bail. Key words maximizing, capitalizing on unexpected talents, confidence. It's time you step out of your comfort zone, take up space, and reach new heights. Gorgeous. Your higher self chose this card because you are being invited to determine whether or not you need to dream bigger, reach higher, and expand fully into your gifts. Are your talents being utilized? Are you taking up space and allowing your light to shine? Are you reaching for big, for big enough goals or playing it safe? If you are reading this now, it's likely you have not made the best use of your talents and have been playing it safe from fear of failure or because you don't believe you are good 
wise, or experienced enough. There are many people in the world who are less experienced, less educated, and have less money and far less talent, but are living big, fulfilling lives simply because they have given themselves permission to occupy as much space as possible. They don't wait for others to hand them things. They go and get them. They don't wait for others to make space for them. They find their own lanes. Don't be afraid to ask for more. Be the first in line or to call your own shots. Um, straw bail encourages you to find the courage to live as big as you dare. Gorgeous. And I said that word right too. I usually say star because I can't pronounce it. T magic. Key words. Answers. Hard truths. Reach into your subconscious, pull from the source, and weave magic with intention, and the answers will unfold. Mm. Your higher self chose this card because the answers you're seeking have been right in front of you for some time, but you've chosen not to see them. Tea magic will visit you when there is a hard truth that needs to be heard and you're experiencing some form of denial. You may even be doing it unintentionally as your ego's way of protecting you from something that may be hurtful or difficult to understand. Tea magic is a spiritual intervention telling you that while it may be hard, it's time to rip off the band-aid and face the truth of your situation. Take time to think about where illumination needs to occur. What have you been avoiding in your life? Know that ignoring it may only be making your situation worse. And if you don't take action now, you could be facing significant consequences. Fortunately, this card means there is time to turn your circumstances around. Your situation will still be challenging, but deep down you already know what to do to overcome this obstacle. Before you can face the monster, you need to acknowledge that it's real. And then as bonus content for this card, there's a divination tea spell. Hmm. Hmm. Toad. Key words. Observer. Path of least resistance. Opportuni opportunist. Observe for those who watch see all. Your higher self chose this card because you are being guided to take a more laid back approach to achieving your goals. Toads are passive in their hunt. They are happy to wait for their meal to find them while staying perfectly still, watching and waiting until the moment is just right to strike. There's wisdom in the way this creature finds its prey. Wisdom that is greatly needed in your situation. Attempting to force your desired outcome may backfire and your prey will slip away. Toad is confirmation that what you're seeking is nearby, but you might have missed it, chasing the wrong path or focusing on one outcome. If you find you are frustrated, tired, or disappointed from a lack of results, Perhaps it's time to trust in a higher power and wait patiently for the circumstances to be just right. You will know the right moment to take action. This card could also be asking you to be aware of your situation. Perhaps more information is needed or something significant is about to occur that could dramatically change your point of view. 
it would be unwise to make any decisions just yet. For now, accept what is and more will soon be revealed. Tobacco. Key words, purification, connecting to the spirits or ancestors, and respect. Feed your ancestors, raise the sacred smoke to them, for they are hungry to connect. Your higher self chose this card because it's a request from the ancestors or spirits with whom you are most comfortable to approach them and the people in your life with more respect and humility. Offering tobacco is a sign of respect and connection for the ancestors in many cultures. Perhaps it's heard about most often in Native American traditions, but it is also a common practice for many peoples from Africa, South America, and the Caribbean and Southern United States. When you greet the spirits that support your path, remember they can see things that you cannot. They can make space where you have faced walls. They can lift you up and carry you over difficult terrain, and they know answers to important questions you haven't even thought of. There are people in your life who also have value and can fill in the blanks with a new perspective that you have not considered. What your situation requires is an open mind and to acknowledge your limited knowledge or understanding in your situation. The tobacco card invites you to spend more time listening and being engaged with others. You may have been too quick to dismiss someone as being wrong or silly or have viewed someone as being unworthy of your attention. Keep a watchful eye out for a younger person coming into your life as they may offer something that is needed for your situation. Mmm, whiskey. Key words. Patience. Long-term success. The bigger picture. Life should be sipped slowly with intention. Be patient as the vision reveals itself. Your higher self chose this card because some things, and often the best things, take time. Some of the most excellent whiskeys in the world age for more than a decade, giving them the time they need to develop flavor and richness. Even lower-end whiskey can take several years to mature properly. Those who take on this endeavor are doing so with the knowledge that they will not be an overnight success, but they take the journey anyway because the rewards have the greatest potential for outweighing the risks. No dream worth having is without its risks. The whiskey card is confirmation that your desires are coming, but just not right now. So don't give up hope. Facing an obstacle or a delay isn't always a sign that you should try something else. Sometimes the universe is testing your patience to see if you have the determination to keep it or to keep at your dream for the long, hunt, long haul. Or it could be a sign to pause rather than quit. Consider whether your goals need time, like whiskey, to rest undisturbed. You can always come back to your dreams at a later date when you feel more prepared or eager to take on this challenge. In the case of a love reading, this card can mean a temporary breakup or setback in your relationship that will resolve itself at a later date. In most cases, the card guides you to have patience and advises you to wait at least one full moon cycle before inquiring about your situation again.
which is gathering. Keywords, loyalty, faith, friendship, cooperation. Gather in power, come together in grace. Unity is rising and all will be embraced. Your higher self chose this card because it is a good omen of friendship and renewed connection. This is a positive sign for you if you're seeking to reconnect with a lost friend or lover. Take steps to reach out as your reunion will result in a joyful and positive experience. Witches gathering is also a great sign if you're seeking new relationships, either intimate or platonic. There are people who are just your kind of people, and you will likely go on to build rewarding, loyal, and long-lasting relationships with any new people entering your life at this time. Seek people who share your values and interests. You may be surprised to find there are many people who understand you on a soul-deep level, who have been looking for someone just like you to occupy room in their lives. This card also brings an important message. Relationships are not to be taken lightly and they require care and attention. It's important to make time for the people who are most important to you because they need your love and support just as much as you need theirs and maybe even more. This card guides you to say yes to as many social invitations as possible. There are people who are very eager to meet you and you never know when a party or night at a bar with a friend can change your life. It's even more critical for new relationships that are fragile and just beginning to take shape. Um, if you're feeling vulnerable, it's safe to say others might be feeling something similar. Making time and doing your best confirms your desires to have others around and will go a long way in showing how much you care. Um, I started reading the next one. <laughs> okay, very excited about this guidebook. And the whole deck, really. Which is rosary. Key words. Focus, concentration, intention, developing habits, trust. Craft your skills with intentions repeated. A practice of magic powered by purpose. Your higher self chose this card because it represents the long road to success that guides you to remain focused and intentional. Your situation is not one that will gain immediate results, but is likely to be rewarding with patience and consistent effort. The way forward is to be practical, responsible, and committed to mundane tasks that aren't glamorous, but do provide security and stability. You will receive this card when you're ready to put in the hard work to see your goal through, although it does remind you to avoid perfectionism. Habits and skills take time to master, so don't take it too personally if you don't get it right at first. You may follow instructions step by step and find that still something is off. Remember that you can always start from the beginning, retracing your steps until you discover the source of the problem. This card also confirms that you're on the right path and should keep doing what you're doing. You may be frustrated if you're not seeing results, such as, or which is why this card has made its way to you. Spirit wants you to know that you have done nothing wrong, but must trust that your work will be rewarded with time. And the bonus content for this card is a witch's rosary 
manifesting chant. And our last card of this beautiful deck is wool. Okay, last card. <laughs> Memory restored. Okay, the wool. Or, I'm sorry, wool. Keywords, security, safety, cozy corner, sacred space, comfort, feeling at home. You are woven within an embrace, protected, loved, and the familiarity of finally being home. Your higher self chose this card because you need to be reminded that self-care comes in many forms. Sometimes getting dressed in the morning is what you need to feel motivated, renewed, and powerful, while other times it's standing your ground and saying no. When wool comes into your reading, it's to guide you to find your self-care in the small moments of life. Ice cream man. <laughs> Ice cream man. That can mean snuggling up in your favorite blanket or finding a quiet corner to dig into a beloved book for the 15th time. It could, it could mean buying a little cabin in the woods somewhere off the beaten path or heading home for a few days so your parents can hold you and tell you it will be all right. Phyllis does not like the ice cream man because he never stops and gives her ice cream. <laughs> she has ice cream in the refrigerator. <laughs> there are some places that just feel like home and some things such as a security blanket that make you feel safe. Receiving this card is your sign that what you need now more than anything else is a feeling of something familiar. Wait before starting something new or making any decisions. Instead, seek out some time to reconnect with what once gave you a feeling of peace and ease. Feeling safe allows you to evaluate your situation from a secure place rather than one of fear or anxiety. You'll be able to see your circumstances from the outside rather than standing right in the middle. If you have pulled this card with corn maze, card number eight, you are guided to start from the beginning so you can reconnect with what's important to you. And then of course we have the about authors and about the illustrator. Um, and of course we have the bonus material with the QR um, code in the back that I will be um, checking out later on today. <laughs> um, this is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful deck. I love the fact that um, it can comes with additional, um, oh wait, oh. It's got such great energy. Additional worksheets with that QR code in the back of the guidebook. So um, really, a, really a nice bonus. Phyllis, it's okay. It's okay, Phyllis. <laughs> Hold on just a minute. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, yes, a beautiful deck. I'm going to um, really enjoy this deck a lot. I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Um, I'm just putting it back in the box for now. I'm going to take it out right away and play with it. But a Seasons of the Witch, Maybon Oracle. Um, I will have a link uh, to where I purchased it. It is not... This is... an. This is a signed copy um, that was uh, part of a pre-release, um, but it is being released on June 12th, 2023, so you can go ahead and pre-order it. Um, other than that, 
Um, I hope you have a great day. And if there are any um, Oracle decks or tarot decks that you would like for me to review, um, let me know in the comment section below. Um, let me know if you're excited to get th this deck as well. Um, it'd be uh, great to know. Uh, remember, magic.com, um, they will send you a free crystal with your purchase. Just remember that. The link is in the description box below. Other than that, have a fantastic day, and I will see you on the next video.